<laughs> hey, screeners, how you doing? It's me, the one AJ, Anthony Jordan. And me, Nico Lero, and it's time for another classic review. This is all about the, this week. It's a daily show where we look at a movie <laughs> that is quite somewhat old. You all know what the movie is because you've seen in the title down below. AJ never knows what the movie is. Give a bit more of a rundown, please, AJ. It just scares me because we are celebrating films released this week, but we do it by the decade. So is it 10 years old, which I can deal with, 20 years old, which hurts me, 30 years old, which drops me. And then sometimes when they're 30 plus, it doesn't hurt as much because we were, maybe not, maybe 40 can hurt because we're approaching that. But it's the films that you appreciate that it's lasted the test of time. So they don't hurt as much, but it's those 20 to 30s that always like to be a little kick in the old you know where's mm. in the old crown jewels yeah so hit me bro how far we're back are we going this time 20 years this week oh here we go kicking the crown jewels kicking <laughs> the crown jewels uh real talk it's a movie you're gonna have to sell because i haven't seen this one but i know you sir have it is a Ooh. remake it is a remake starring tom hanks 20 years oh, old yeah yeah okay the lady yeah, killer look at that you see, this is a very, very, when I say funny film, I I would like to say funny and hilarious, but funny in the sense that I saw this in the cinema and had a very, very, very good time with it. I really, really enjoyed it. But it's one of those films that I could say I've really enjoyed, but not had a chance to revisit. I may have watched it once again on DVD, but I swear to you on everything, it's probably been about 19 years. <laughs> now that you're telling me 20 years, <laughs> right, it, it's okay. been a very long time. Um, I remember having a good amount of time with it. And one of these things, and I mean, if you've been following the Silver Screen dudes for a while, this won't ultrally shock you, but it feels, it's like crash territory. I thought everyone appreciated it. I was shocked to find out that the world did not like this film. I may watch it again and be like, uh, maybe I get it, but it's not stupid, great, like stupid fun. It was just a fun film about some people trying to pull off a heist in this ultra religious woman's house. I remember having a good time with it. That's that's the kind of territory I have with it. Have you have you seen the original with Sir Alec? No, Gillespie? no. So I can't comment on this this one. I mean, Tom Hanks is a national treasure, of course. Um, the original is really really great like really great and i was hoping you would have seen it because then i could ask you how does that hold up but how they fare up against each other i guess we're in a state of asking literally right off the bat as the video title suggests just how good was the lady killers yeah um i, I think maybe that but it's downfall might have been that it was a remake of a classic film and that might be why people like, even though it was good because it didn't hold a candle to the original. That might be maybe why it is. Was. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite unfortunate that one um, that we can't really compare notes because one seen one, one seen the other. Um, but let's have a look at the trailer and see if it entices you. I suppose. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Uh, the lady killer has come out. And who's this trailer? Yeah, I remember yeah. Marlon Wayans being in this as well, which is weird because not weird, but it's actually one of the roles I enjoyed him in. But to be fair, I always preferred Marlon to Sean anyway. So. The creators. Yeah. Well, where aren't the and Fargo? Allow me to present. Oh, so it's the Cones movie. It's the Cones. Higginson Noah, PhD. I didn't even know that back then. I saw the sign in your window advertising a room to let. I'm looking for. It makes sense as a Cohen's film. Madam, you are addressing a man who is. It looks like a Cohen film the way it's. Yeah. Shot. This is what I'm saying. It's now making a lot of sense. Allow me to introduce you to my friends, the devoted and passionate Here's Marlon. musicians. So y'all don't play no hippity hop songs with the no hippity hop. No, no. But you could tell it's very, it's a very southern film, which obviously I don't think would have happened with Alec Guinness. No, it was very British, the original. Yeah. Do you have a roach cellar? The vibe is very similar, though I can well, tell you that. I like the way you said that. They're all in a band. Okay, so that's like the original. Interesting. So it's slightly different. JK Simmons. 
I actually forgot he was in it. Unfortunately, Ms. Munson has complicated the situation. I know how to decomplicate it. What you doing? I know your mama raised your mother. See, I I did have a good time with this film. Like, it makes me want to watch it again, seeing this trailer. It's not turning me off. It's Tom Hanks, isn't it? You can't really hate anything Tom Hanks does. Damn. This is a Christian house, boy. No hippity hop language in here. Sometimes it's the only way. You ain't gonna hit me. I'm trying to help you, boy. <laughs> 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 Sorry, it's the Cohen's, goddamn. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a Cohen. It's a, it's a, it's a That's insane. Yeah. That is actually mad. I'll say this. It's it's very similar, but at the same time, very different, very different to what the very different because the original is, you know, it's very Britannia. They weren't robbing a boat; they were robbing a train, if I remember correctly. Their big thing was they wanted to be next to the train track, and the woman was wasn't so much religious leaning. She was very much more just a kind of elderly, lone, elderly, lonely British lady who. You know, the type of granny who, if you give her a single moment, will tell you about her entire freaking life story. One of them. Okay. Right, so it's very different vibe. I like what they've done by taking that story and putting it in a in a kind of Southern Americana vibe. I'm, I'm intrigued to watch it. I had a good time with it. And look, it's not through any fault of like, oh, it's not good, so I didn't watch it again. It was not that. You know, there are just some films that you just watch and then you not had a chance to come across it again mm. um i i genuinely don't recall hating any moment of the film or feeling it dragged i don't want to get into like spoiler to be able to compare notes but like it, it, they had one plan and it seems to go the other way but i also feel this film was released post oceans 11 right. post um even if you want to i think maybe gone inside man seconds. Yeah, you know, there's a load of films that have kind of... We, we had a heist era, and I think that that's why they made a slight spin on it. The score uh, also, right? Come again? The score with De Niro and... and yeah, like, stuff has happened, you know? Mm. So, yes, you, you've you got something like, oh, in the height of, of all these heist movies, let's bring out a, a, a classic heist. Again, I don't know how much of a heist the original Lady Killers are. Um, and I think maybe watching it with a innocent eye you could appreciate it more like for instance look at the way taxi is revered by everybody who's not seen the french original they're like oh this is such a great film and you're like do not <laughs> do sacrilege not yeah and i think it's the same thing here is that if you've seen the original you're like where oceans 11 i think as much as it had the rat pack has not made such an imprint like the later oceans 11s did i feel this might be the reverse is that the original lady killers were so good that People are like, but you, uh, you just didn't hit the mark. I did enjoy it. I, I wouldn't go to it. Okay. I wouldn't go to it. I'm going to do this, right? And the reason, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm is, 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 yeah, it, it's, <laughs> it's, it's in half territory purely because I've not seen it enough that I could give it two, and but I have nothing but fun memories of it. But okay. it's too far back for me to be like, yeah, it's a definite thumbs up. I do want to watch it again. I probably will watch it again. But at this current point, I'm, it's not bad. It's not It's not a thumbs down movie from me, not at all. And it's it's one that I feel like, had I watched it again, it probably would have got two thumbs up. But it's definitely one and a half territory easily. The fact that the Coens did it kind of makes me want to see it even more. So that that's filled me with a bit of, a bit of curiosity. But I guess that over to you guys. What did you think of this remake of the lady killers have you seen it and if you have have you seen the original how do the two of them hold up next to each other can you fill the void here between me and aj which is better yeah. leave your thoughts in your comments down below i am intrigued by this one very intrigued. yeah and we will say. see you yeah which was better the original lady killers or the 2004 cohen remake let us know and we will see you guys right here on another classic review right here on the silver screen dude subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and we'll see you soon guys bye for now